back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so I'm here today to tell you guys about a book that I received very kindly from the publisher, in fact two publishers, I got two copies of this book and I'm really excited about it because it's a Sanderson which is always a good thing. I really 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 enjoy Sanderson stuff. Booktube seems to have become quite overcrowded with Sanderson stuff recently but I always love his new books, I always enjoy them. I don't think there's been a book of his that I haven't liked that's in the Cosmere. Basically, if you don't know what the Cosmere is, then Sanderson writes all of his adult books, or the majority of his adult books, in the world called the Cosmere, which is a whole entire universe. Each one of his stories, like Mistborn, like Stormlight, like Elantris, they're all set on a different world within the universe of the Cosmere. This edition is the UK Galantz edition, which I was very kindly sent, and this edition is the Tor US edition, which again I was very kindly sent. They are exactly the same book inside, except for the fact that this one, the Tor edition, has really nice end papers, which are just beautiful. Like, really, really lovely end papers. And at the back as well, they're super, super nice. So they are the same book. Um, you might be able to see a little bit of embossing on this. I don't know how well you can see it, but there is an embossing on here as well. Otherwise, it's just sort of gold and super nice. The UK one doesn't have as much attention to detail, but I really, really like the illustrations of the covers for the UK ones, which I just think really match together well. Um, so they both have pros, I suppose. This book is a collection of short stories that are all within the Cosmere universe. Some of them are set on planets that we've visited before. There's a short story all about the Mistborn world called Alamansa Jack. There's a short story about Elantris, which is a follow-on from Elantris, so you probably shouldn't read that unless you've read Elantris. There's a short story, which is actually a pretty long story called The Emperor's Soul and I love that story, it's one of my all-time favourite Sandersons ever, like I just love it and I reread it for when I was reading this collection and it was super good, just as I remembered. On the Mistborn one there's also The Eleventh Metal which is another short story and we have Mistborn Secret History. Mistborn Secret History is spoilerific. Basically this entire book is kind of completely full of spoilers for all of the other planets and stories that he's written in the Cosmere world. So if you haven't read all the Cosmere books, then you probably don't want to be reading this. That's my kind of disclaimer. Don't read this if you've not read other Cosmere things. I think this is the sort of book that you're probably going to only want if you are already a Sanderson fan, because a lot of the stories, they all make sense on their own individually, but a lot of the main stories, like the Mistborn series, Elantris, Stormlight, those three series, and Warbreaker, are all going to be potentially spoiled by some of the stories within this. There are some short stories you can read entirely without being spoiled. For example, we have Sixth of the Dusk in here, which is a completely spoiler-free story, so I like that one a lot. Um, I would say that The Emperor's New Soul is not spoilery, I would say that Alamansa Jack is not spoilery. Mistborn Secret History is massively spoilery, so you can't read that one. White Sand. White Sand is an interesting one because White Sand is actually a graphic novel that he's published. We just get an extract of it in here. So it looks like this. You can see that the black and white version of the graphic novel. I actually already own the graphic novel, which is this. It's called White Sand and it is in full colour, um, as you can see. So this is basically the extended version, I suppose, of what you get in the book. You only get a snippet of it. Um, and this is only volume one of what will presumably become a fairly long series. I don't know how many it's planned to be, but there's going to be more. As I said, The Hope of Elantris is spoilery. The Eleventh Metal, I mean, that's kind of spoilery. Shadows for Silence is not really spoilery. You could read that on its own, but it's a bit of a weird one for Sanderson. I would say it's probably his most unique, like most different from all the others in the Cosmere universe. I think that one was a, a weird one for me. Sixth of the Dusk I really really enjoyed and Miss Bond's Secret History just don't even go near it, just stay away. The other thing, 
as you probably realised, I've read all of those ones I just listed. The other thing in here is Edge Dancer. Now, Edge Dancer is quite exciting because Edge Dancer is the new Stormlight Archive novella that he has released only for this collection, which is the main reason I wanted it, because that was the only story I'd not already read, and it was really good. <laughs> like, I really, really enjoyed Edge Dancer. Edge Dancer focuses on a character called Lift, who is from the Stormlight Archive. We meet her in the Stormlight Archive books, but we don't get to see a huge amount of her. So it's really, really cool to then go and see her story in this. It's kind of her origin story, essentially. Um, we follow her as she travels around and she's on this journey. And she doesn't really have the mindset of an adult. She's not really a make a decision and follow it through kind of person. She likes to be very spontaneous. She's quite witty, but she's also quite silly at times. She kind of just says whatever she thinks and doesn't really think about the ramifications or the consequences too much. She's quite impulsive. She's quite sporadic. She's quite a strange character. She reminds me a little bit of Ori from King Killer, but a more sporadic, crazy version, whereas Ori is a bit more whimsical aloof. I think this character of Lyft is quite wacky and quite funny and quite engaging. So she's an interesting character to follow. She also has a companion who is a creature that you meet in the Stormlight Archive books. I won't give any more away, but basically you meet some of these creatures and that she has one as a companion. So that's part of the story too. They go up to all sorts of mischief and adventure. And I think it took me a little while to get back into Stormlight just because it's been so long since I read them. But as soon as I did, it made me really excited for book three, which I hope comes out next year. I'm not entirely certain, but I hope it does. Um, I just really, really, really enjoyed Edge Dancer itself. So Edge Dancer, I would give a 4.5. Some of the other stories in here, like Sixth of the Dusk, Emperor's New Soul, Mistborn Secret History, I would give all of them like five stars. I love them. So those are fantastic. And then the rest of the stories in this collection would get four stars from me. So overall, I gave it four stars. But like I say, I really like Sanderson. It's one of those books that I would say if you like Sanderson, you're going to want it just so you have all of his short stories in one place. Like it's really nice to have that because a lot of these short stories are only published digitally until this collection. So it's just a really nice place and nice thing to have and I really enjoyed the new story too. I believe that this book comes out today so when this review goes up you'll be able to buy it if you want to. I'll put a link down below and you can go check it out and buy it. I definitely would recommend it. I gave it a four out of five stars overall but I think Edge Dancer is worth it on its own because I gave that like 4.5 and as I say some of the other stories are easily 4.5, five stars, four stars. They're all fantastic. I haven't got anything that's just a three or less so all of it is a four star or more read. I would definitely say if you've not read these and you have read the other Cosmere full-length novels then maybe give these a go because some of them really flesh out the worlds. One of the other cool things you get is maps of the universes. We have some illustrations from some of the books and we have a page all about the Selish system which kind of is written by someone very mysterious and very integral to the overall Cosmere storyline um, and this is the Selish system so it really is quite a cool format where you have the system itself, the letter about that system with some observations, then you launch into the stories from that system and then you go to the next system or planet or whatever it is and do the same thing and I really really liked it so I am very grateful to have got this one from Galanx in the UK. I am equally grateful to have got this one from Tor in the US because I've never had a Sanderson US copy before and I really really wanted one and I like the cover of this one. Four stars from me. I'd love to know if you guys are going to pick it up. I'm sure many of you are. I'm betting that a lot of you are fans. Yeah, tell me down below if you're going to buy it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it if you do and some of the stories within and I will chat to you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.